This is a very short chat in which I'll just show you how to import and export data into and out of Tree. Now, there are two options or two ways to do that. The first is the parameter table import, which I don't recommend, but I'm going to show you for completeness sake. And then the table dump and table loader, which are actually very convenient uh, tools to accomplish the import and export. Now, the first way that Setri offered, like years and years ago, to import variables into Setri was to the so-called parameter table import. And this allowed you to import variables from an ASCII file, so a normal text file, but it allowed you only to do so one by one. So you needed to click treatment, import variable table. You can still do that. Um, then you need to select a text file. So here I give you an example of what this text file looks like. It contains the values that you want to import. It can contain, of course, uh, variable names and so on. And there are tabs in between these entries. And what Cetri then does with this is it asks you when you click import variable table, which variable you want to import. So you type in cache, for example. And then it would create in the specific parameters of the parameter table in the program, it would add this cache equals and then these values here for all of the different subjects. So for each subject, it would import one of these, well, in, in order, of course, these values. But for stock, for example, you would have to import another of these uh, text files. So for every variable, you would have to Im import uh, in a separate text file. The modern way of importing and exporting data into and out of Setri are the use of the table dumper and the table loader. Now to insert a table dumper, you would just click treatment, new table dumper. And that would give you a dialog window that lets you specify, uh, well, the, the conditions for your table dumper. First off, the you can set a condition that determines whether or in which period, for example, the table dumper runs, which means at what point in time when Setri encounters this table dumper, which is a normal stage tree element, uh, it should actually write a text file to your hard drive. You can specify the output file name and you can specify those tables which you want to dump, which you want to save to disk. Now that does not at all affect your tables in, in memory. It just generates a copy on your hard drive. And these are tab separated text files following the UTF-8 encoding. Now the opposite operation, of course, is a table loader. Table loader, you can again specify a condition and then you can specify or, or list your file name either under replace file name or under append file name. And what this means is that Satchi will take the, the tables that are contained in this text file and either replace the existing tables of the same name that you have in your memory with the data from the file which makes sense, for example, if you want to import uh, the subjects table or something like this. Or sometimes you may actually want to append the data in the file to the table in your memory, such that new rows are simply added to your existing rows at the bottom. Now, this definitely does not make sense for the subjects table because the subjects table should always only create as many rows as there are subjects and adding extra rows would create problems. But this can be very helpful for the contracts table or user-defined tables. Now I would like to illustrate the use of the table dump and, to tape and the table loader for you using this demo data file RW treatment where RW stands for read write. And the first thing I do in this treatment is I have a global stable program that defines a variable called num records and sets it to e equal to three. And then it defines in a table called parameters. So you see this table up here. Um, it creates new rows in this table so that the parameters.new function um, writes new lines into the table. And in each line, it sets a variable x equal to a random number um, between one and 100, more or less. Okay, and once it has done this, the table dumper here 
um, saves this parameters table into a file called data.txt on my hard drive. And it does so only in the period one, but we'll only have one period, so that actually doesn't really matter. And after that, um, we're gonna see a screen where I can load the file, the data.txt files contents from disk to replace the existing uh, contents of the parameters table. I can append, so add the data in the data.txt file to the table, or I can write the table to the disk. And the contract list box here displays uh, the results. So let's see what this looks like. So I've started the treatment and Cetri has generated the random numbers 45, 73, and two for me. Now I can switch over to my um, Explorer to look at my hard drive and double click this data.txt and you can see that exactly these numbers are really now uh, in this file. Now going back here, I can generate new numbers. You can see they're here. They're also, if I switch to the set tree and click run um, parameters. Then you see they're also here. And they're not in this file here because I haven't written them into this file. So let's try that. So I click um, write file. And if I now switch back to my hard drive, then I have the new numbers in here. Now, let me generate new numbers and I can now read the file and replace the existing numbers here with the new number, well, with the old numbers from my hard drive. So if I click that, <clears throat> you'll see that I switch back to, um, to the 89, 53 and 86. Alternatively, I generate new numbers again. I can append the numbers from file by clicking this link which opens a table loader that appends. So it adds these numbers here to the bottom of this table. Now, again, this is not yet written uh, to the disk. And if I click uh, read file replace, it will replace all of these numbers by the numbers that are on the disk. On the other hand, um, I append the file, I generate new numbers. I can write this to file and from now on, uh, on the disk, I have this longer set of numbers. And I can, of course, add them here, do whatever I like with them. But you can see how this um, writing to disk and importing from disk or reading from disk works here. And if I switch to the set tree again, I just need to find my set tree quickly. So sorry for that. There we are. Um, the difference between the table load the replace is that the, the file name is here in the replace field and the append table loader, the file name is here in the append field. 